everyone, it's Mia from Rose Nails by Marissa Coombs and today I'm going to be using these cat size 1, 4, 7 and 8 from SBD London to create this sort of magnetic-y cat's eye tie-dye thing. <laughs> um, right, so I'm just going to go on with a layer of black. Uh, this is um, Nail Kami Onyx Black. It's really, really, really good. I'm just trying to make sure I've got a really nice, even layer all over it. Because I only really want to do one layer of this. So I'm going to make sure it's a really nice layer. And then the Nail Kami Polishes Cure in the Lamp for 30 seconds. But I've put that in for 60 seconds. Because it's black. Now I'm just going to use my Nail Nails triple zero three striping brush and as you can see I've got all my cat's eye polishes out like a little bit on a palette and I'm just going to start from the side wall or what would be the side wall of um, on a client and I'm going to create these sort of really low semicircle arches now I'm going to do them in slightly different order I cannot remember for the life of me which order I did it in I think it was like one, then seven, then four, then eight of the cat size. So I have not cured that first semicircle of cat's eye polish. All I've done is wipe off my striping brush and then I'm going to do another semicircle right next to it. Try not to make the polishes sort of touch so that they merge together. But this is all still wet and if it does sort of touch and merge together, it's not the end of the world because we are going to drag a brush through this at the end to create the tie dye effect anyway. So try and keep them all your sort of arches after your initial sort of semicircle at the beginning. Try and keep all of your arches the same sort of thickness all the way round. And again, I'm wiping my brush in between the colours. I don't know what went on with my phone then. I think my phone like vibrated with a uh, text and like the whole screen just went like. <laughs> so this is Cat's Eye. I'm pretty sure this is Cat's Eye 4. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so I'm doing them uh, with the SBD London 5D Cat's Eyes. I am doing one, then seven, then four, then eight. I think that's right. And I'm just going to keep going with this same pattern, um, creating these sort of semicircles with the same thickness um, until I get back to the green in my little sequence that I'm doing. Because I really wanted to finish with green, even though I do kind of squidge it on the end a little bit because I was running out of space. Um, but I just thought, like, when you do the tie dye effect, Please excuse my dog if you can hear him growling in the background. He's just seen something out the window he does not like. Um, so yeah, I wanted to finish with green because when you drag it through for the tie-dye effect, you're going to end up with the green on the black. And I just thought that that would be the most sort of standout colour. So whatever your most standout colour is, try and organise it so that that is the last colour you put on. Because that's what's going to be against the black the most by the time you've finished. I've got a feeling my dogs are going to bark like any second now. They're staring at something out the window. And I don't know what it is, but it's seriously taken their interest. <laughs> They're standing there like statues. Oh, God. Anyway. Right, so... Yeah, I'm back in with number one I had to think then for a minute back in with cat's eye number one and then I'm gonna go as you can see I started off with cat's eye number one so the next one is gonna be the green uh, cat's eye seven and that's the one I want to finish with so after this one I'm just gonna do one more archway with the green cat's eye because I really really want to finish with that oh I can hear my stepson coming up the stairs now you might hear some very strange noises from my stepson. He makes a lot of crazy, crazy noises. And I've got him off school poorly today. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> He's like, no, she's talking to herself again. <laughs> right, so this is my last archway. As I said, 
I do kind of squeeze this one on there because I really, really, really wanted to finish with that green colour because it's so striking against the black. So um, I have tried to keep all of these the same thickness. Again, all of these layers are still wet. The only thing that has been cured is the black. So none of these magnetic cat's eye polishes have been cured yet. This is all still wet and it all needs to still be wet for what we're going to do next. So I'm just going to squeeze this last line on. I'm like, oh, get it in there. We can do it. We can make this cool rainbow. And even though these are cat's eye polishes, I'm not going to magnetise them at all. I'm just going to use them as regular polishes on this occasion because they're so freaking stunning. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but my dog just agreed with me. He was like, <laughs> um, right. So again, I'm going to wipe my brush off and then I'm going to start from the middle of that semicircle that I created first. And I'm going to drag my liner brush outwards through all the wet colors. And then I'm going to wipe off. So every single time you drag your brush through and now I'm going to drag it inwards and try and keep these lines that you're creating by dragging through about the same thickness apart. So outwards, then inwards towards the middle of the semicircle, then outwards from the semicircle, and then inwards to the semicircle. It's like you're drawing the lines on a dartboard. That's exactly what you're trying to do with this design. It kind of looks like some crazy, cool, magnetized dartboard. <laughs> I might actually play darts if they made them like that. So if you don't think that your lines are sort of, what's the word, prominent enough, then you can drag through a second time. Just be really, really careful. You don't want to drag through too much, otherwise you're just going to end up merging all the colours into like some big blobby blur, and that's not attractive. So I'm just going over those again, dragging the ones that are going inwards. And again, keeping this wet the whole time, and we're just going to repeat this process of going outwards, then dragging back inwards towards the middle of that semicircle. Make sure you wipe your brush off every time, otherwise you're gonna end up with a big fat blobby mess. So dragging in, dragging out. Just gonna do a few more on this one. I'm trying to get, I kind of drag it in there because I wanna drag a nice big outwards one where that sort of black at the tip is to get that nice green out there. There we go. And then one more little inwards one. And then once this is done, you're going to pop it in your lamp for 60 seconds. That's an LED lamp, by the way. I don't know if these go in a UV lamp. I will have to check for you. So we're going to pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then once that's cured, I'm going to use my tempering top coat from SPD London. If you haven't get it, got it. Blah, blah, blah. If you haven't got it, get it. It's amazing. It's like a proper glass shine. It's gorgeous. So I'm just going to give a nice coat of that on the top. And if you need to, depending on what top coat you're using, if you need to do a second coat of top coat just because you've sort of dragged the lines through and it might be a little bit lumpy bumpy, then do a second coat. If not, then here you are. The design is all done. So you've got this really cool tie-dye effect. And you can put the tie-dye in any pattern you want. You can cover the whole nail with it or whatever you fancy. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!